How to improve indoor air quality. The method you take to improve indoor air quality will depend on the source. Below are a few things you can do in your home to prevent the problems that most often lead to poor air quality. Keep your home clean. Vacuum weekly at minimum to remove allergens like pollen and pet dander from the floors. Use a vacuum cleaner with a HEPA filter and clean it regularly. Do not allow dishes or damp clothes to accumulate. Control humidity levels. Ideal home humidity levels are around 30 to 50 percent. Invest in a dehumidifier to keep your indoor air at a comfortable temperature. An air conditioner also works in the summer months. Ensure adequate ventilation. Make sure your clothes dryer and stove are all well ventilated. Always use the exhaust fan when cooking, using the dishwasher, or showering. Repair water damage. If the water damage is due to an issue like a leaky basement or foundation crack, hire a foundation repair company to permanently seal the crack and keep your basement dry. Smoke-free home. Secondhand cigarette smoke is deadly, not to mention dangerous considering the well-documented fire risks of indoor smoking. Protect yourself and your family by banning smoking in your home. Radon test. Radon is a colorless, odorless, carcinogenic gas that can seep from the ground into your home through small cracks and openings. Radon exposure is the second leading cause of lung cancer in Canada. Hoarding can also contribute to poor indoor air quality, which leads to several health issues. Here are three common ways on how hoarding negatively affects your indoor air quality. Promotes mold growth. Prevents proper ventilation and air exchange by blocking vents creates problems that often go unnoticed for long periods. Moldy items, actual garbage, and old, expired cleaning or personal care products all contribute to an unhealthy living environment. If there's a moldy item on your home, mold spores are released into the indoor air and make their way throughout it, without you even realizing it. When your indoor air isn't circulating, pollutants like black mold spores, vox, dust, etc., tend to accumulate. You must have working and sufficient ventilation throughout the home to avoid this and breathe easily. If your air contains high levels of mold spores, you may experience symptoms similar to those you would when you have seasonal allergies, a common cold or even asthma. Mold is often referred to as an invisible killer because it's easy to inhale large numbers of minuscule mold spores without even realizing it. Luckily, it is possible to monitor and improve your indoor air quality, beginning with regular indoor air quality tests for the most frequently used rooms in your home or office. These air tests will check for mold, asbestos, radon, vox and other common pollutants frequently found in modern households and indoor environments. Contact Mold Busters today for reliable air quality testing at 1-877-566-6653.